to do the um, enchiladas, my aunt's recipe, her famous enchiladas, chicken enchiladas, and my sister does the best. Oh, yeah. All I can say is she's a great cook. You haven't tried them? You need to. All mm. you need is butter, flour, sour cream, and chicken broth. Oh, yeah. It's a sour cream sauce. Let's show you the chicken. So, we just finished the chicken, and now she's about to do the sauce, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Use sticks of butter. So, we're letting the... Stirring this on and cooking it on low heat. You want to melt the flour, melt the butter, and then slowly add flour. And this is what it looks like, guys. She's whisking it. You want this like not too thick, but still liquidy. Now I'm fixing to add some chicken broth. Now I'm adding chicken broth. I'm doing a little bit more because we cooked a lot of chicken. This is what the sauce looks like. You don't want to be doing it too fast, she says, or it'll clump up. That butter and flour will clump up. It's happened to me before. You got to cook it slow. Yeah, our aunt said slow, cook it slow. Slow and on low. Yes. You can add however much sour cream of your choice. I usually, now that my sister's married, we like sour cream, but her, my brother-in-law does not. So I usually try not to use a big one. I use a small one, which is a 16 ounce, but I may use a little less than that and have some on the side. Right. And we'll get back to the final result on how it looks after. Mm. I'll do that one a little bit more and I'll have mine inside. Because I don't want to do it too soon. We put a little bit of salt and pepper in it. Alright guys, she said the sauce is done. So that's what it looks like. You can cook it and stir it to your, make it thick to your liking. Um... Back at it again with the enchiladas. Now all you need is to fill, put a little bit of the sauce to cover the bottom of the pan. I usually put enough to cover the bottom because it helps them stay together when you roll them. There you have it, guys. And that's the way it looks. It's all covered, and now she's gonna start rolling. All right, guys, she is um, rolling them, putting the meat in it, and then I'm gonna open the cheese for her, and then we'll get back to y'all. All right, now we're putting the cheese on it. Then we'll put it in the pan. Gonna be busted! Oh yeah. Putting it in the pan. A little bit of a rip, but it's okay. And we're gonna catch you when most of the pan's done. Oh yeah. This is what they should look like. Sometimes they don't turn out okay, but that's fine. They're, they're still manageable. You just gotta work with it. Now I'm just gonna pour Some of the sauce on top of the enchiladas, like so. When you're rolling these and doing these, have your oven preheated to 350. About 20 to 30 minutes, just enough for the cheese to get 
melt or golden brown. All right, guys, we'll show you when we pop it in the oven. Finished, but this is extra chicken and sauce. So there's extra chicken and sauce, like I showed you, and we're about to put the um, enchiladas in the oven. And then, yes, we showed you step by step, but we're going to do a recap of everything. So if you want to try it, you can. Putting it in the oven. Oh yeah. We made three of them because there was a bunch of chicken, so that's why we got three. It'll, if you know what leftovers are, and make it last for a few days. Yeah. Putting it in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then it's ready to go. On, Yum. On. 350 for 20 minutes. Get, what I do is get pre-cooked chicken, I shred it up, or I do this sometimes, get regular chicken, boneless chicken breast, season it, cook it, and then shred it up, and after that, then I work on the sauce, which is you melt the butter in the saucepan, slow on the low heat. Then you slowly add flour. You don't want it too thick, because if it's too thick, it'll clump up. I've had that happen. And then after that, you put, you put chicken broth, add that to it. Then you add sour cream. And then mix it all together and you have, you can add however much sour cream of your choice and however much chicken broth. And then in the casserole dish, before I roll the enchiladas out, I usually pour a little bit of sauce in the pan to hold the tor the enchiladas together and then after I roll I usually heat up my tortillas in the microwave with a damp rag or paper towel it's your preference I use both it's just whichever one you, of your choice because it does better with making the enchiladas and then I roll them I put sauce I put chicken in the middle, and then cheese, and then I roll them. And then I stick it in the casserole dish. Once I fill up the whole dish, I pour more sauce on top of the enchiladas, and then I put cheese. And then they're in the oven on 350 for like 15 to 20 minutes so that the cheese can melt and, and get a little brown. There you have it, guys. I hope y'all try these and you enjoy them. Our famous Ants Chicken Enchiladas. Yum. Yum. It's busting. She's a very good cook, guys. She is.